All right, we're going to switch gears now. And workers in the country quitting their jobs at a record pace. New numbers from the Labor Department show more than 4 million people left their jobs in August. And that is the highest number since December of 2000. Now, as staffing shortages grow, so too does the threat of walkouts. Unions representing thousands of workers across America, among those voting in favor of strikes in recent days. A News Nation correspondent, Nancy Liu, is live for us in Los Angeles. So, Nancy, any reason for these growth? growing strike threats. Well, Nicole, the labor shortage is a huge factor. Right now, there is a looming strike threat against Kaiser Permanente. That would impact hospitals here in California and Oregon with about 24,000 workers possibly work, walking off their jobs. Now, this is just one of several major labor situations across the country reaching a boiling point. Operations are normal for now in the Kaiser system, but trouble is brewing. Negotiations have yet to produce a deal with nurses and other health care workers unhappy with pay, benefits, and higher workloads. And one way is you can make sweet in the pot, right? Um, and more importantly, you need to keep the people that you do have. You need to pay them a fair wage. Kaiser is expressing hope that the bargaining process will produce a deal and prevent a walkout. But more strike authorizations could be coming soon, among other unions representing 50,000 workers nationwide. <laughs> workers at Kellogg cereal plants are already on day eight of their strike. Negotiations are ongoing over wages, and the company is hoping for a deal soon. But with store shelves getting emptier, Kellogg's brought in outside contractors this week at some plants. Workers say their wages should reflect the company's higher product prices. You know, we worked 365 days, 24-7 through the whole pandemic for the last two years. In the Midwest, a possible strike is looming at John Deere after UAW members rejected a tentative agreement. More than 10,000 workers at 14 facilities could hit the picket lines at midnight tomorrow. The company says it's committed to the collective bargaining process. Members want better pay, pensions, and health care. Members are very frustrated with this deal. They don't feel that their uh, concerns have been addressed, and they don't feel that the contract keeps up with the economic conditions of the company or, you know, what's going on with inflation. Also looming, a possible strike by 60,000 production workers in Hollywood and across the country. According to some labor experts, the ongoing worker shortage may give unions more bargaining power and the upper hand. Nicole? All right. Yeah, Nancy, we'll see what happens. Thank you for that.